Good morning to you, uh, dear friends and subscribers of Cricket Happenings. Uh, this is your host Ram, welcoming you to your favorite cricket show, the Cricket Happening Show with your host Ram today. Well, what are we going to look at today? We have the third One Day International being played between West Indies uh, versus India. This is going to happen at North Sound in Antigua. And well, I'm going to do a brief preview of this particular match. Now, as you know, India, uh, even with their depleted Indian side that they have, they have actually done very well. Suresh Raina and his boys uh, have really made India proud by actually winning the first two One Day Internationals uh, in a very, very convincing fashion. And uh, what and the, and the onus is on West Indies now on their home turf to actually put it across India because if they are not able to uh, do it this time, then India would be taking the series uh, three, uh, three zip uh, after winning this and then you have two more to follow. So that will give India a psychological advantage if once uh, they actually pick up their third win. And it will also do a lot of good uh, to the confidence of all the youngsters. And there might be a lot of experimentation being done by the Indians to actually have some reserves coming in. Now, what would, now the main question that comes here is that what is the West Indies going to do here in North Sound Antigua? They have made two changes. Uh, they don't have... Dwayne Bravo, they have been rested Dwayne Bravo, they have rested uh, Ravi Ram Paul, uh, one of the very improved pace bowlers. Now, what that is going to do, now, the reason that they have done that is because th the West Indian selectors are, are trying to find out a very good mix which could actually, you know, uh, get a win over India. Now, Darren, uh, Dwayne Bravo to be rested uh, something which I don't understand because he's one of those uh, wonderful players. Uh, and the time he gets going well, he's a treat to watch. Um, I mean, he will co contribute in all the three departments of the game, just like Kiran Pollard. Now, Kiran Pollard the other day failed, uh, so that is very essential that Kiran Pollard fires on all cylinders for West Indies, and that would be something that they would definitely take it. Yes, they are definitely crippled by Chris Gale. We need not talk about that. Lendy Simmons the other day, we saw what the openers did. So Lendy Simmons and Kirk Edwards have to give. A very good uh, start to them uh, that's very essential they did that but they couldn't carry it forward probably a century partnership would be uh, the right one to do and in a lesser number of overs uh, they looked very good Kirk Edwards was using his feet very well to the spin and Lendy Simmons well he was playing some marvelous strokes and he was not afraid to loft the ball too so the opening partnership for West Indies is going to be very very vital Darren Bravo, the exciting player from West Indies, has to show his wares. He has to really, really come good now. It's very high time. Ramner Sarwan the other day showed that uh, he can hold the innings and slowly get into form. So that is good news for West Indies. Marlon Samuels has been consistent uh, in this particular uh, one-day national series. So he would like to go for a big one. Kiran Pollard I already talk, talked about. Anthony Martin, the right arm leg spinner, has been looking very, very impressive. Uh, Darren Sami, well, he is. He would be having happy memories of this particular ground because you know uh, there was a match which was played, uh, the last ODI which was played here, or it's at the Vivian Richards Stadium in Antigua, where Darren Swamy thrashed the, the South African ball into Smith Reigns and he actually uh, picked up a very unexpected win because South Africa were almost going to a win and Darren Sami came in and took it away from them by thrashing 58 of just 24 deliveries. He came at number 9 and thrashed the balling all across the park and collected a win for the West Indies. So he would have happy memories of this ground. Carlton Bog, the wicketkeeper, uh, well, uh, he has to probably improve his batting because he was suspect against spin. Kemar Roche is back in the pace of uh, Ravi Ram Paul, so that's going to really, really help and boost them. Devendra Bishu, well, he's another very, very promising leg spinner for the West Indies. And, well, he's bowling very well. Even against India, who is having good experience of playing against leg spin. I thought Devendra Bishu is doing a wonderful job. I really see him as a real future. Danja Hayat might make his debut. Now, Danja Hayat is a very aggressive player. Uh, whether if he, if he gets an opportunity here, uh, that is going to be seen. Well, for India, positives. Uh, Shikhar Divan, uh, not looking very convincing in his uh, knock of 50. But still, that was a very valuable knock. Parthiv Patel is looking in good nick. Virat Kohli has uh, showed uh, what uh, maturity and responsibility mean, uh, taking the onus on himself with the big names not being there. Subramaniam Badrinath, uh, probably now it's uh, high time for Badrinath to actually get a good score under his belt in this one-day international series. Rohit Sharma has been uh, doing his job. 
Suresh Raina also contributing uh, in great measure. Uh, Yusuf Patan probably has to show his heroics and probably uh, the uh, probably the, the time has to come where Yusuf Patan has to really you know show his bigoting prowess. Uh, well, we all know he's a great hitter of the ball, but probably uh, the time uh, might be right today for Yusuf Patan to really unleash something extraordinary. Harbhajan Singh, well, the other day he couldn't really bowl in the good areas, so probably Harbhajan Singh will like to really bowl a very good. I mean, for took a few and really passed, passed the bat of the West Indian batsman. Amit Mishra throughout this uh, particular one-day international uh, digital pearl uh, one-day international series has been looking very, very impressive of all the lot, I would say. Uh, Pravin Kumar uh, and Munaf Patel, well, they form a very good combination. They have still been able to deliver the goods for India. So that's what is very important for India. So all in all, it looks like a very good bat. But as I said, the onus is for the West Indies to really get a win under their belt today. Uh, we have another two hours, uh, not even two hours, one one hour and 15 minutes to go before the third one day international between West Indies versus India in this Pearl Digital one day series, which starts at North Zone Antigua today. So that is going to be a real match. And uh, what is going to be very, very interesting, as I said, is going to be how uh, the West Indians are going to shape up and what are, what is the what is the strat strategy going to be. So that's going to be very interesting. So. Well, for India, they would like to get the third win and actually secure the one day international series. Whether they do it, we will know today when the match finishes and I will be back with a full match report of that particular match. Well, right now, I just want to give you a light update. Uh, this is the match, uh, the first class match, which is being, uh, being happening on the Sri Lankan tour of England here, where it is the match is being played at Chelmsford, the county ground and Sri Lanka. Uh, uh, scored today they declared a 337 for 9 this was on day 2 and yesterday as you know there were centuries for Lahiru Tarimane uh, who made 104 with 15 fours I was looking very good so it was his first match and I have to really uh, really get credit for Lahiru Tiramane the opening batsman who came in place of Dilshan who did a fine job probably we get his match his place now uh, for the third test which will be starting so that's good news because Lahiru Tiramane has come in as uh, cause of the injured uh, Tilkna Dunshan has done a wonderful job. Uh, you know, it's very difficult to get used to the English conditions as soon as you come in. So I would have to really, really credit this innings from Dairu Thirmani. He probably is a real talent there. Kumar Sangakra uh, got a good knock there, 153 of 23 fours and 1-6. Other than that, there were not much of a knock uh, for anyone. Um, like Chandi Mal, Samaravira, they all were dismissed very, very cheaply. Uh, and 337 for 9 and the balling... 4 for 23, uh, Topley, who has been doing very well in the English county circuit, 13.4 was 3 made in 23 runs and 4 wickets. Essex in reply, at the end of day 2, were 24 for 2, they lost 2 wickets. Uh, Golden Man was bowled by Maru for 5, and Pettini was caught Paranamathana, bowled Pereira for a duck. Westley is not out on 8, and Ravi Bopara, uh, one would be having their eyes there, to select, uh, yes, uh, he's not been selected probably, he would like to prove a point or 2 to the English selectors there, he's not out on 5. And uh, we are looking forward to the third day's play. Well, uh, dear fans, uh, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to see whether I can give you or share uh, any of the uh, cricket news there. Uh, if possible, I can definitely do that. Um, uh, probably, uh, I'm just seeing to see what exactly is going on. Well, uh, in Afghanistan, uh, uh, there is uh, a bit of... Uh, uncertainty over Rashid Latif uh, who is the coach uh, and there has been some uh, talk going on probably the Afghanistan players are probably not happy with uh, Rashid Latif one does not know what exactly is going on but that is some news coming in other than that I don't have anything to share so keep watching cricket happenings keep enjoying cricket happenings your host Ram will be there with you with a full match report on this third one day international between India and West Indies which will be played at North Sound Antigua today in one hour and 15 minutes time from the local time it starts at nine o'clock there that's it from me your host ram for your cricket happening show for now i will see you then after the match with a full match report until then it's goodbye thank you <laughs>